Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So we have some new Gucci to review for you guys today. I'm going to do an eight hour wear test on the two new Gucci complexion products. So if you wanna see what I think and how it all turned out, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And what really, really caught my eye was the appearance of the new Gucci complexion products. Brand new type of product. They do not currently have any base products such as these. So I had to get my hands on them. I ordered from the Gucci website, which they are only available at right now. It does say that these products will be coming Coming to all other retailers no set date as of now that we know about but you can get them on the Gucci website I did pay for expedited shipping so that I could get the review out for you guys it got to me it took a couple of days but we also had a snowstorm so not mad about it at all so what Gucci released was a silk priming serum and then they also came out with a foundation now this is called the natural finish fluid foundation so we're gonna get into the details of both of these and you'll hear all about them so let's talk about the packaging. It's always nice ordering straight from these Lux brands websites because the gift with purchases, the wrapping, everything about the luxury experience is just amazing. Way better than if you were to just purchase at Sephora. Of course, there's ups and downs to both. Not a returning system as good as Sephora, okay? <laughs> Randomly, I got this little canvas tote <laughs> that says Gucci on it. I got two. Actually, I guess because I ordered two products. Obviously, it's like a very cheap bag, but it says Gucci on it. I don't know. I just thought it was funny. I was like, ooh, look at my new Gucci bag. So I got that. And then they also came in this like canvas bag. The box was inside. You got the box out and both boxes looked the same. They had that very soft pink black packaging that Gucci has. And then we have the product. So both of these products come in a frosted glass with the pale pink cap. It is glass, not plastic. Feels quite heavy, quite luxe. Very, very clean looking. I really like it. You know, I I would have liked for this to have been like a metal or something a little bit more luxe than plastic, but it looks good. Very clean, very Kim Kardashian-esque, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the primer first and foremost. So here's what the primer looks like. This is going to be $59. Now this is described as translucent, a universal formula suitable for all skin tones. It's supposed to blur the effects of pores, lines, and wrinkles, and can be used as a long-lasting base to comfortably keep foundation in place. This product is also made in Italy, has a 12-month shelf life, and you get one fluid ounce of products. So $59 for this is quite a lot. <laughs> I'm going to just apply this straight to my face. So let me get close to you guys. We're just gonna get straight into application. I'm going to apply it on this side of my face and I'm gonna go in with my regular face primer just so we can see if there's actually a difference. So when you take the cap off, look how beautiful that is. Ignore my crusty nails. I like the gold cap. Here's what the product's looking like. A little bit liquidy. I'm just going to put this on. So if you have dry skin, this feels really, really nice. My skin's been a little bit extra dry lately because it's been extra cold out. And this does feel very moisturizing. I'm just gonna put that on. Ooh, I like the way it feels. It does have a scent. Most of Gucci's products do have scents. So it does smell like the bronzer, but it's not an overwhelming scent. Do I notice a difference from side to side? Not really. I have dealt with some blurring primers that you can see instantly with application. I do not see that with this. I feel like both sides kind of look the same. And this has dried down though. And my skin does feel a lot smoother compared to the side that I didn't apply anything. So my skin feels great. It's sunken very quickly. I think it's gonna be great for dry skin. In, but honestly, I think it'll be good for oily too just because of how quickly it dried down and it does make your face feel more smooth. I don't think it looks more smooth, but we'll see with application. On the other side of my face, I'm gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, one of my favorites. This is really just like a liquidy moisturizer. So I'm gonna put this in. 
So now let's move on to the foundation. So I got the shade 160N, which is a fair color. Honestly, I completely took a gamble on this shade. This foundation has 40 shades, but their website is atrocious. Okay, it doesn't even say the shade name. Like I didn't know this was named fair until I received it in the box. And the order of colors, it's all out of order. It's not done by depth, it's just, it's a hot mess. I took a wild guess on 160M. I did swatch it on my hand. It's too light for me if you're around my shade. So this guy is going to be $68. Like I said, it has a 40 shade range, 12 month shelf life, one fluid ounce made in Italy. This is supposed to have a natural finish, suitable for all its skin types, lightweight, long wearing, soft focus powder technology to make your skin look more smooth. So this one seems to kind of give the claims that every foundation gives. It's long wearing, it smooths everything out, natural coverage. We'll really see how that plays out. But my one complaint definitely is she needs to change her website because I had no idea what shade to get. Literally guessed this blindly. All right, $70 for a foundation. Let's see what this guy is all about. So here is what the texture looks like. This is one pump. You can see it's a little bit liquidy, definitely liked for my skin tone, but we'll make it work. I'm gonna use a sponge to apply. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna look pale today. Good thing I have my Gucci bronzer with me. My first gut instinct was to get a color in the 200, but then I feel like whenever I do that, then it's too dark for me. So, yeah, it's blending out really, really smooth. I have to admit, I have to use a sponge. I just use a sponge for every foundation. I don't care. I, it just looks better, works better for me. So with one pump, I actually was able to give half my face some coverage. And here's how it looks. It blended out beautifully. Looks like a mask because I don't have the right color, unfortunately. But it definitely has a natural finish to it. I can see a little bit of a shine, natural coverage as well, kind of right in the middle because you can see a little bit of red poking through but overall it looks very very smooth so let me try the other side so I did one more pump I think I got a little bit more out of this pump I think I pressed harder so you can see I do have some texture on my skin right here that's just my natural skin and by the way this does have a scent to it it smells like the bronzer if you're familiar with that it lingers on your skin like when I swatched this on my hand earlier it made my hand smell of the foundation so if you're not into a scent you won't like it. <laughs> so here's how we're looking. We have two pumps. I think it looks really good. I know I look crazy right now. I really like the natural glow that it gives to the skin. Does one side look better than the other? Honestly, I think my Smashbox primer side looks a little bit better and juicier compared to the Gucci side, but we'll see with wear time. That very well might change. I don't notice any oxidation occurring either. This has a bit more of a yellow undertone if you're curious about the shade. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on my cheeks just to see how this builds. Mm, I don't think this is building the best. So I would say you're gonna stop right at a medium coverage and it doesn't seem to be covering anymore. That's okay, I'm happy with the medium coverage. Anyways, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup, see how everything applies on top, how it blends in with everything. I'm going to do my makeup, play some music. I'm gonna put a timestamp right here if you wanna skip what makeup I'm using.
All right, full face of a makeup is complete. So I did lightly powder the center of my face and then I did do powder, bronzer, blush, and highlight to kind of cover the rest of the area. So my face is set and I think my skin looks really good. It does have kind of that soft, powder focus that it claimed to have and it looks really really good i really like it of course the color was a mistake on my part but i made it look okay i'm gonna see if i can exchange it for a deeper color so far really good it has a natural coverage you can still see my skin coming through which is something that i personally prefer and i'm really liking it i realized i forgot to talk about some color comparison so right here i'm gonna insert a clip comparing the color that i got to other colors so here are a few foundations for comparison so right here this first one is the Gucci Fair 160N this next one which is probably the closest match is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation in the shade number four this next shade is the NARS soft matte complete foundation in the shade Fiji this is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in 128 Classic Ivory, so you can see this one is deeper. Then here is the deepest one that I have. This is the Guerlain Les Sanchel Foundation in the shade 03N. So hopefully this can help you as far as the match goes. So I got the foundation on at around 130. It is now 150. It's settled in very, very nice. It doesn't look really lightweight on the skin. Like you can kind of see that I am wearing makeup, but it is a very soft focus effect. And I will say now the side with the Gucci primer looks a little bit more hydrated compared to the Smashbox primer. It looks a little bit smoother as well. Just my opinion. Like especially right here in this area you can tell it's a little bit dry on the Gucci side I do think it looks a little bit better so I'm gonna keep you updated every few hours I'm gonna quickly take you to daylight so you can see what it looks like and yeah I will catch up with you guys so I am standing in front of my window right now here is how my skin is looking just with natural daylight I think it looks even better in the natural light I'm really really liking it so far I can't wait to see how it wears because I feel like once my oils start to come through it will look even more skin like all right you guys so it is 4 30 so I've been wearing the foundation now for three hours so the makeup has really had some time to settle into my skin so we're gonna take a closer look and and I think everything looks very good. It still is very early on. We are just now starting to see a little bit of sinking in right here, but very, very slight. And I will say, the more I looked at it, the more as I went on my day in other lights, it was looking a little bit dry, especially in this area, which leads me to believe that I think this will be pretty nice if you have oily skin. Or for me, I think I will like it more as a summer foundation. This is not my summer color. I would like it more in the summertime because right now I'm just sitting in my house in the cold I've been editing and all of that so not much has happened but it still looks really good like if this wears a long time which I hope it does I feel like this foundation has a lot of potential and it looks really smooth on my forehead which usually is a good indicator about a foundation it looks super good on my forehead so maybe a tiny bit of oil build up around my nose but ever so slight it's still early on though so normally my foundation still looks pretty good I'm trying to say I can't really tell a difference between the Gucci side versus Smashbox. I guess the Gucci side looks slightly better. Like slightly. Like I'm looking hard. Not a soul's gonna notice. All right, that was my three hour check-in. I will check in very, very soon. Not really, in a few hours. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it is now 9.30. We've hit the eight hour checkpoint. I haven't done much since my last check-in. I ate dinner. I did do Pilates, but I did Pilates really close to a fan so I wouldn't sweat. And I don't, I don't like working out with makeup on. It makes me break out. So that's why I did Pilates and a fan so I wouldn't sweat. But I did do some movement. So hopefully that did some wear and tear on the foundation, made it a little bit more realistic. My nose watered or was running a little bit and you see it did kind of come off around here. You can see it didn't go too deep into my smile lines, but I will admit it looks a little crusty around this area here. But if you kind of just take this area away, everything else looks 
pretty untouched. It's actually very impressive how everything looks, especially in the forehead. But yeah, I'm not sure what happened here, but it looks a hot mess up in this area. And that normally is the area that does look a little bit disrupted, but I like it. I think it looks really, really good. Now, this is only my first impression. So do take this with a grain of salt. I mean, I definitely want to wear this more, but I was so excited. I did want to get a video up for you guys. First impressions, I do think this foundation is going to work great for somebody with a more combo oily skin type dry skin type it is workable but definitely make sure you exfoliate you moisturize and you're all prepped for this because it looks a little dry in this area and it did cling to some drier parts of my face nothing bad like some, some foundations that I've seen but it's just something you want to be aware of before applying your makeup just prep properly but it wears really well that is what I'm very impressed by so I can't wait to continue wearing this and updating you guys but overall I really like it I think my skin looks really good I just can't get over how flawless my forehead looks I think it looks amazing also today was the first day that I wore the at forest site palette with Raw Beauty Grisky. Now how pretty is that? It wore so good. I mean everything wore so good. The blush and highlight and bronzer are, are all still holding on fabulously as well and a lot of times the foundation has a lot to do with that so that should tell you something. So as far as I can tell this is a pretty long wearing foundation. I think it's going to be great for all skin types but I do think combo normal oily this might be a good match for you. I can't say that 100%. Obviously, I have very dry skin right now, but that's what I'm thinking. So let me know your thoughts. Overall, I think it is really good. Do your research on the color though. So that is all I have for today's first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you consider taking the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.